Okay, I wanted to show some uh, epoxy filler going in these intake ports. This is for a 351 Cleveland. Uh, this is a uh, Edelbrock perform or RPM air gap manifold. <clears throat> and I'll show you on the cylinder heads, but I have uh, some Roush intake wedges to reduce the size of the intake port, and I was having a, a misalignment. So I'm making these wedges uh, using some of this Moroso epoxy seems to work pretty well and uh, making wedges that look similar to this clay mock-up here um, to go in the port. Okay, of course we're going to take equal amounts of the epoxy and mix it up. Let me show you these ports. I've got a couple that are already done. There's the epoxy in that one. And these are the ports that I've prepped. So this is just done with a die grinder. It's really rough and then I raised the roof of the port the same amount that this is going to be so it matches up. I don't know if you can see the outline on the edges uh, like this one you can see the best. This dark line around the edge that's the actual size of the intake port on the 4B head. Uh, so this manifold is smaller but it seems to work fairly well. So I open these port roofs up to match open them up the same amount that I'm raising the floor. And you'll see why when I show you the cylinder head and the uh, port there. Okay, so I mixed the epoxy up for two minutes, three minutes. So it's nice and even. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, just roughly form it and then start sticking it in the port here. Build it up. Now I used a caliper for the height that I needed that I measured off the intake port so I know where it needs to be. And if you start working it in here and forming it, and then once it's dry, um, I've left it a little bit oversized so I can then hit it with the grinder and really get it where it needs to be. So that's about it, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the port's done, epoxy's still wet and drying, but you should be able to see the split side there, and it raised the roof, the same amount, and then when it's all done here, I will hit these with a die grinder just to finalize the shape, so like this one probably needs a little bit more curve to it, you can finalize that with the die grinder when it gets dry and hard here, and that's it, and I'll show you the uh, heads, so this will make a little more sense. Okay, so here are the heads. And if you look in there, you can see those Roush intake wedges. And those reduce the port size by about 30%. Really don't lose much CFM, but it's a pretty big boost in velocity, which really boosts the low end torque and flattens out the torque curve. So I'm matching the manifold to those so I don't have that uh, turbulent inducing restriction in there.